Cancer was observed as far back as 3000 BC, but it wasn't until the 19th century, with the rise of the modern microscope, that the foundation for the modern pathologic study of cancer emerged. For centuries, surgery was the primary method for removing cancerous tumors, but in the late 1800s, the discovery that the hormone estrogen regulated the spread of certain cells in the breast laid the groundwork for estrogen-blocking therapies in breast cancer. The discovery of the X-ray then opened the door to radiation therapy. Doctors found that daily doses of radiation over weeks improved patients' chances of survival. World War II brought another revelation. Nitrogen mustard, a derivative of mustard gas, was found to kill lymphoma cancer cells. When it was discovered that using multiple chemotherapy drugs greatly improved outcomes, single-agent chemotherapy gave way to combination chemotherapy. Today, insights from gene sequencing have allowed scientists to attack genetic vulnerabilities in cancer cells, enabling the rise of targeted therapies, which can also limit harm to healthy tissue. Researchers are also finding ways to stimulate the body's own immune system to fight cancer through an approach called immunotherapy and to overcome the drug resistance that emerges in some patients. Scientists have learned more about cancer in the last two decades than in the previous 2500 years, and that growing body of knowledge means hope. <laughs>